to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Viss. So let's uh, let's continue with our uh, uh, drone AI. So in previous video we had uh, completed till this. So the drone is falling down. So we have to set a couple of things on the uh, BP drone. So first thing is uh, on the capsule. Okay, on on uh, character movement. Set the default land movement to flying. So now the drone uh, is at the same place where we have placed it. Okay. So now we have to uh, control uh, the movement of it. So open your uh, behavior tree. So first thing, uh, give it a selector. And here, uh, and decorator uh, use blackboard paste condition and the condition uh, to set here is uh, uh, we need to create a variable here first create a boolean variable and put the state on the behavior tree in the condition if the state is set So uh, instead is not set. So in that case, uh, put a one more selector, and uh, again here it will be a, a blackboard based condition. And uh, on this, on this condition, uh, we need uh, to see the drone state. So if the drone state is equal to patrol on result change about self so these uh, these uh, actions will run uh, if the uh, drone uh, uh, if, if the drone is in patrol state so here again put the sequence and here again we need a uh, blackboard based condition and for this condition we need one more variable boolean variable is moving so select the variable here is moving is not set okay so initially we will put the weight and here uh, click on add a new task and name it as drone b TT get random location. Okay, so connect it here. So now we will update the code for this event execute when receive execute AI. And uh, we need to uh, uh, create a. Uh, we, we already created an interface, I think. So we will write a couple of functions there. Okay, we haven't created the interface yet. So go to blueprint blueprint interface drone drone interface here so open this so we need few functions here uh, the first function will be find random location and we need one variable here as output final target so this will be a vector and uh, the other function is 
move AI to location. So since uh, uh, the drone AI will be in flying state, uh, we have to write a function to move it to a certain point. So the inputs would be move to location. Let this be a vector itself. Then uh, we need threshold, which will be a float and output complete this is a boolean okay then we need uh, okay let's first finish uh, these two functions and uh, we will come to the others later uh, go to your bp drone and on your uh, class settings implement interface here select the drone interface drone interface so now you will be able to uh, once you compile okay once I've compiled uh, I got the interfaces tab here okay open move to location uh, first let's finish the find random location So create a local variable, just uh, integer variable. Okay, set this to uh, zero. We are initializing it. Then after that, on the variables, create target location, and this has to be an vector so set this so this target location uh, make a vector make vector and uh, here uh, the target location uh, will be maintaining the same height for the drone so we'll just move the drone uh, in x and y and uh, but but maintain the same height so get active location so this is uh, the current location of the drone so split it add it and add it to x similarly add and add it to y so z connected directly here And for the uh, addition part, random float in range. Similarly for y. And here give minus thousand and plus thousand. So this value you can again uh, uh, set it according to your need. You can even put it in a variable and multiply it by minus and you know uh, set the range here. Uh, so uh, once we have uh, uh, decided the location we have to make sure that the drone uh, rotates within the, within some range so to do that we have to check that and put it in a branch and get the start location and get the target location minus it so subtract it from each other then uh, get vector length get the vector length and the abs of it and if it is greater than uh, then again create a can room radius and this can be float it, uh, is greater than can room radius 
compile it and set a default value for this and let even this can be 1000. So the reason we are uh, checking with the start location is uh, from a starting point the drone shouldn't uh, should be circling within the, within a particular radius it, it shouldn't go too long from its start location that's the reason we are checking it here and uh, connect it uh, to the branch and if it is true set uh, int int equal get int plus one plus one and uh, we don't want to keep uh, checking it so we will put it uh, some thres threshold numbers number of times to attempt to uh, uh, get a target location within the given radius branch so if the number is less than 10 uh, then go back to setting the target location so this time it will find a new uh, location and we will it will see whether it is within the range and then it will decide okay so if it is uh, false then connect it to start location so if it is not able to find a new uh, target location after even after 10 attempts then uh, it will return the drone to the start location then add the return node for the false uh, here target location okay so on your okay. open this here uh, from the controlled pawn find find random location and promote this to a variable target location and uh, this uh, and set blackboard value as vector create a variable here and to location blackboard key selector connect this and the target location here and create one more variable is moving again this also will be a blackboard key so get this set blackboard value as boolean and set this to true and finish execute set this to true okay this looks good now on your behavior tree move to location and this moving has to be uh, uh, editable so on your uh, behavior tree compile this save this behavior tree move to location select okay we haven't created the variable here Vector into location behavior tree uh, assign the correct variables here is moving is this moving okay now uh, let's test this
okay if you see here the location is changing every five seconds so this this will uh, get to the uh, target location so this location uh, will get changed so once we have added the other uh, 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 other uh, sequence in the selector uh, for patrol uh, we will set up the function to move it so once the move completes uh, it will uh, uh, find the next uh, random location so the moving part we will see in next video thanks for watching bye